When I started training to make furniture uh, at the Edward Bransley workshop, I did so for about three or four months and basically ran out of money. I couldn't further study anymore. They introduced me to Queen Elizabeth Scholarship Trust and it allowed me to uh, further my training there. I set up the workshop here in 2008. I like making furniture which is more organic in form. It resembles the, the natural world, both in real size and also in micro size. I am a potter. I make functional tableware. Everything is simple. I almost try and work with like archetypal forms. And that's what I think makes a good pot, good tableware. I'm full-time apprentice to Julian Stair, and the scholarship allows me to be here six days a week, focusing on my work, developing new work, and making work that's been commissioned. I couldn't do this without Crest. I've been in this workshop here now for nearly 18 years. I do mainly traditional work, but I will do modern upholstery too if required. I got the scholarship quite a long time ago now, in 1997. When you're 50, there aren't that number of organisations that are prepared to sponsor. They were fantastic. Since I got my scholarship, the, the business has grown enormously. At the moment, I've certainly got as much as I can cope with. There's no roadmap, there's no career path really into this. It's a complete 180 degree change from what I did before. I was uh, the creative director at an agency in London. I was given the opportunity to come in here and get this coppice back into rotation. What the scholarship is allowing me to do at the moment is to concentrate full time on my charcoal burning. You know, I'm still learning the craft. It has a wonderful ancient tradition that goes back 6,000 years and it's worth preserving. I specialise in Elizabethan uh, interiors, reproducing the wall paintings and painted cloths from the period. At the point I got my scholarship, I had had my practice for about 10 years. I got my scholarship in 2007 and that was to do further research and short courses in the Elizabethan area of what I do. Beyond the funding from Quest, being part of the Quest family has been a huge opportunity for me being connected with Royal Warrant holders and with the other scholars and meeting other people, other craftsmen. It's just very exciting to be part of that family. We make shoes to individual specifications in a traditional way, which we've continued since the foundation of the firm 160 odd years ago. Apprenticeships have always been vital, because unless you're training people, the craft doesn't continue. With the involvement of Quest, we've been able to take on two apprentices. And it gives us an opportunity to pass on our skills, and in turn those skills are important for the future of the business. I got into shoemaking a year ago because I wanted to work with kind of my hands in a craft. I'd been coming in like one day a week. With any craft skill it takes so long to learn it. Quest has meant that I can do it full time and you know give all of my attention to it. I always wanted to make shoes. I am an apprentice closer and John Love. So the closer means the guy who make a pattern, who cut the leather, and who stitch them together. Charities like Quest, if they don't find young people like us, this sort of craft is going to soon disappear. I'm really thankful to them. It changed my life.